Hello everybody, welcome to my next video of Life is Strange. My name is Takrukiam and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, I will try. Perfect time to evolve. Really. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. But the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. But you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. Yes, they I'm are. Alive. At least, I'm alive here with you. Yes, a real survivor, alive. Right? I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. It car, it car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. An asshole in a car. What surprise! Thing I had when I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Uh, Messinger. Of course, that's Rachel. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. Maybe. What? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. The snow, the eclipse... Oh, I don't think it's... Do you think so? I haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe... I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. 
Capella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Okay. She don't like the hell of her. That's that's undergoing that we know. This reality is much different, a lot different. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you're here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, you know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science ball. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Okay. <laughs> we come to this earth to fix everything. And what we do, we fucked up all. Drink up, buddy. Shit. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in real life. Yes, he was. You're right. I wish I could take us all the way back there again. Wish I could build us a DeLorean. Oh, well, um, with your scientific mind, you might do that. The time travel can screw things up, too. Plus, he'd have to be my even assistant to help me build a machine. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Uh, a question which friends can be not too good, so you, you have, have me. me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Uh, okay. Of course she's not alone. And they... Are you... Of course they... Are they okay? I mean... Are they so happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. 
Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Hmm. Hey, uh, hey. Can he pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. What? Wait. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Chris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when you watch movies. I remember Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Okay, so DVD. Max is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Yeah. I've been... <sighs> Here's the DVD. Okay, so now DVD player. Make a wish. It's easy to write it, but it's hard to do it. Wake up. Oh, wake up. I can't believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Um, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? Uh, I do have another and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch of a woman. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, m my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Okay, Star Trek. No, you are wrong, lady. Star Trek is an epic movie series. The book series and the television series is incredible. Star Trek is something. Victoria
but Victoria is my friend. This reality is really different. Okay, and I am big Star Trek fan. So come, come on, lady. Okay, my looks almost the same. Good. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Okay. That's How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. This was Roy's bedroom. Looks very empty. Shoes, toys, etra. What's in there? I never heard much about William's brother. Oh, there. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Yes, that's... That's the reason why is time so dangerous. Life, life is, is strange. No, life is a fuck. Fucking shit thing. Oh, my dog. Hey, William. Oh. Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Grow you, of course. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. She's alive. I don't think so. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Okay. So I have to go see uh, if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please keep me from these bills whenever you want. Oh man, you maybe don't know it, but this is the last time. Oh shit. Oh. 
Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Ground zero, yeah. Okay, photo album. Take. Okay, and. Now, okay. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Um, yeah. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Not to be found, you, Chloe. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... And it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along. And I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. You understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Okay, so Chloe want to make a suicide. Sad, it is sad, but I accept it because baby, yes. Chloe, I'll just drift asleep, dreaming of us here together. Forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. 
Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. That's... 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 I don't know what... I'm sorry, William. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the square jar. You mean your college fund? <laughs> Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it because tonight your mother promised to make I a won't thing believe and that this is good, but it is. It's not. That makes all of us. Shit. This is. I screw it. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want home. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Okay, but there's no sorry for this. Poor Chloe. Okay. So this is the first ride. Chloe, you're alive, yes. Oh yeah, now you suddenly want to kiss me? You had your chance. I'm just I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? 
I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world, Max. Let's look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Um, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat step douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the dark room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of step crack. He's not going to be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom was giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Okay. I can't abuse this... Okay, so let's go. To find... Faith. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. Okay, I'm sorry for it, but... It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. But I am sorry. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Of course. I it promise is. I'll help Miss Grant next time. If there is one. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. Mr. Grant. Hey. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Okay, so scrap it. I think that seven one seven one. Yes. I knew that number would be important. Oh, maps, 
notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. <coughs> What's this? My photo. Why is there my score? Back to Chloe now. Okay. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. Now let's go find out what Nathan is hiding in his room. We have to be extra careful. Max, now it's time for Nathan Prescott to be afraid of us. Back in back row. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yeah. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for the school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know, lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party, so I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot floor teacher. Rose! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Okay, so... Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Hey. Be from, uh... Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. No need to go there now. So I hear. So, but I have to do. I'm working on it. I have to do. No. So ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Hey, Brooke. How are you? Considering what happened to Kate, I could be better. Are you okay? 
Where is Nathan? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Okay, Brooke. Um, but right now I'm trying to find Nathan. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Good luck getting that date, Max. Okay, so... I have to go. Nathan Talk is later, gone. Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. Okay. So... Chloe... He must to do something. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja Mode. So lame, they don't have colored dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Nathan. No. Yeah, this has to be Nathan's room. This can only be Nathan's room. Come on, Max. That will be love. Now I need to find Nathan's phone, or anything with clues. Yay. And now... Computer... Nathan is way into this party. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate... Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. And far away. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Hey. Um. What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Because he was moved with the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Okay, so get out of here. Fast. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> oh. <gasps> You are so fucking dead! Get off me!
me, bro! No! No. That's... You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! Get off me! Please! Please stop! He's down! Hey, come on! Stop! Sorry. Yes, we have to go. Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Damn, Warren went full alpha on Nathan. And it was good. Damn, that was intense. Warren... Thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um, Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Okay, but... I think that this is enough for this video. If you like it, if you like it, I will be glad if you leave a like it, subscribe my YouTube channel, comment this video, and share this video between your friends. In the video script, description in the video description you have a link to my facebook page where you will know what i published and when so so bye